Hello, this is a Gospel reading and a reflection for uh, Wednesday, the 13th of January. From Mark's Gospel, chapter 1, beginning to read at verse 29. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sunset they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door, and he cured many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place. And there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighbouring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also. For that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The beginning of Jesus' ministry in Galilee and a number of interesting things. The healing of Simon's mother-in-law and the, to us, almost comic detail of her immediately jumping up and preparing food for all the men. This was the first century, after all. And then, perhaps, the most interesting thing for me, this time around, the fact that he got up while it was still dark, got up before anybody else got up, and went to his deserted place and prayed. I think of all the, all the religious down the centuries living different lives from most of us, getting up while it's dark to pray as a matter of course, but also of the need to go somewhere where there isn't anybody else. The need for Jesus to go to a place where he wouldn't be subject to the needs and demands of many people. For us, just to find a place, a deserted place, whether it's dark or light, where we can pray without being distracted, the place where the phones are switched off, where the multiple busyness of our world is also switched off, and where we can sit and be with God, to refresh ourselves for what he calls us to, our mission, to be in the world, loving the world as he has loved us. And then finally, Jesus needs to move on. He doesn't need to stay in one place. If he did, people would become dependent on him in an unhealthy way. What he's come is to, to do is to show a sign of the kingdom, to plant a flag of the kingdom in each place he goes to and say, this is what it looks like. This it was, is what it feels like when God is present and in charge. And that's for us as well. Can we, by our lives, show what it's like when God is present and in charge? Amen. A quiet moment for prayer. Lord, our world is so different from that first century world. And yet we are the same in many ways. We need space and solitude to be with you and to refresh ourselves. And we need to remember that we too are called to proclaim in actions as much as in words by the whole of our lives the great truth that you are with us and that your love is what matters most. Help us to do this, for we ask it in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Bye for now.